G'day, I'm George Lisi. Welcome to the third video um, in this series of three. The, if you remember the previous videos, which are located up there, so we've got a button up top and a button over this side, if I've got my uh, finger on the correct side. Uh, you can, you can, and you can go back and you can watch those videos again for a few days anyway. So they'll be active for you for a period, short period of time. Now, if you remember those videos, I'll cast your mind back. In the first one, we spoke about where the pitching, pitching piece fitted within the overall concept of uh, change and a whole bunch of different skills associated with those different elements. We also looked at four things that bring your pitch undone, something we need to take notice of and, and make sure that we don't uh, repeat as errors in future pitches. And in the second video, we looked at uh, how you use that blueprint and uh, design, elicit information to design your, your delivery and then the sequence of delivery itself. Now, in this particular, in this third video, what I'm gonna look at is the situation where you get the chance to either elicit information through research or whatever about your customer, or you get a chance to interview the customer. And it's those situations where you can elicit specific information which will raise the likelihood that your pitch will be way better than any of your competitors. So let's have a look at this. Okay, it kind of like, if we start at the end and we work our way backwards, ultimately we want to deliver a pitch that gives us a smiley face. We want to deliver a pitch where we get the buy-in from the customer. And if we come right back here, what I'm talking about is the situation where leading into this, you get the chance to sit with your customer right and have an interview or, or some sort of interaction where you can elicit information now what type of information do you take from this now if you look below there is a below this video down there there is a downloadable form that um, is going to take this information that i'm going to deliver visually to you and give you more detailed from a checklist perspective more detailed information that you can take this and actually physically use it so I'm going to draw the pieces in the middle, right, which relate to that particular form. When you do this, when you have this interview, there are two perspectives we can take. There are, or there is, the technician's perspective, and then the influencer's perspective. Right. And people are pretty good at the technician side of it, and that is where you assemble information that relates from a technical perspective to the pitch that you're delivering. Now, if we break this down, and this is what you'll see in that form, there are four parts to this. When we interview them, we wanna know what the problem is. This is the thing that is causing them concern. It's the thing that we need to solve. And we need to dig into that because often the, it's often the case where uh, someone comes to you and asks for something and they're talking about the action or the product or the service but they don't necessarily articulate the problem that you need to solve. The second thing you're going to do is focus on potential barriers. Barriers or challenges that prevent them from solving that problem and that might even prevent you from solving that problem. Okay, so the barriers or challenges could be human, they could be physical things, so, but they're things, roadblocks that get in the way and stop you from solving that problem. The third thing we ask about is the motivation for solving that problem. Yeah, and, and this alludes to the hook or the reason why they would be interested in your solution ultimately, which is gonna solve that problem. Third thing, fourth thing, sorry, the outcome, the end result. What is it you wanna produce? So if I do a particular action, I deliver a product or service, what do you wanna get at the end? And the reason this is really important is for a couple of reasons. Number one, customers aren't very good at articulating outcomes. They're very good at articulating the product or service or the action that they want. But we want to give them the outcome they want through our product or service. Now, ultimately, we also want to solve the problem, deliver the outcome, because if we can do those things, then we're more likely to get buy into the thing that we're offering. Now, this outcome piece, I always remember, um, way back oh quite you know many years ago i wanted to buy a tag hoyer watch it was one of my you know uh, bucket list items so i went into a jewelry store that sold sold tag hoyer watches and i asked the sales lady i said listen um you know i'd like to look at some tag hoyer watches and she she said she said what image would you like to present before i show you anything <laughs> i thought well, what a you know an incredible question from a sales perspective because what she was focusing on is the outcome that i wanted 
And then she showed me watches that produced or delivered that outcome. And I walked out of that place with a Tag Heuer watch. And I'm just reinforcing the point here that if you can connect strongly with the outcome that they want, you're more likely to get buy into your idea. So that part of it forms the technical aspects and the majority of the pitch itself. But the influencers also take notice of other things. First of all, information that relates to how they build rapport with the customer. That would be things like that, things that would cause us to have things in common. It would be how they dress. Um, they're, it's, you know, are they a tradesperson or are they a professional or are they a blue collar worker? Um, it could be even the language they use, the way that they talk, are they fast, high pitched, or are they slow, deep and resonating? Anything that helps you build uh, rapport on the basis of having things in common. You don't wanna be in violation of those things or being so different that you're out of rapport because then you've got a problem. Very hard to sell something to someone if they don't like you. The second thing we're taking notice of is anything that helps you build connection. And connection, by connection I mean when I deliver information, the information resonates specifically with the potential customer, and that's gonna be things like specific words they use, um, stories, metaphors that they you know, tend to bias towards or utilize themselves. Um, it could be anything associated with the technical aspects of delivering something that you can utilize back at them which helps them understand what it is you're presenting. It could be visual symbols as well, you know, or diagrams that they draw. Now, the third thing that we look at is, or we focus on, is a set of questions around the rules that they want you to abide by. If you don't ask questions about the rules, what happens is you raise the likelihood that you violate the rules that they want you to live by. And anyone who's ever been in a relationship knows it's very easy to get upset with other people or other people to get upset with you. When you do something and you can't work out why, that's because the rules have been violated, the unwritten rules that are in their head. So I once heard it said that all upsets are rules upsets. So what we're doing here is trying to understand the rules that they want you to abide by. And that's going to be, when do you want, when do you want this presentation or proposal? What's the best format for it? You know, is it in writing or is it in video form or is it in presentation? Um, if it's in written form, is it bullet point or is it, you know, details or is it executive summary at the front, etc. So you understand the rules of how you, they, they want you to deliver this. When you have that, that forms the way that you deliver and some of the content. Look, assemble that information together, you got a pretty powerful pitch, right? You're more likely to get buy into that, um, you know, your solution, your product or service that solves the problem, delivers the outcomes that they want, connects with the things that they value, their reason for actually, you know, making change and solving those problems and getting those outcomes. But on top of it, you'd be able to build rapport, connect with them in the way that you deliver it, and do it according to the rules that they live by. So there you have it, that download tool below, right, that gives you the specific information around this. So whether you remember this diagram or not, doesn't really matter, you've already got the tool there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now, uh, what you're gonna get from us in a couple of days is an invite to do the whole program. If you like the videos that we've just done, I know for a fact that you'll like the launch of our Delivering the Perfect Pitch course. And, uh, you know, so expect something to come along uh, in a couple of days, which is going to have a very special offer for it. So uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I can't wait to talk to you again. And uh, good luck with all of your pictures.